the story of one of the most recognizable man-made textures on the planet. This is the oldest pair of 501 jeans in the world. I grew my hair long. I started wearing bell bottoms and cool clothes. You put on a great pair of great looking denim jeans and suddenly you're the rock star. Jeans are very sexy on people. Want to see Iggy Pop wearing these jeans? My have gone where Iggy's have, only my went first. You can tell so much about an individual by his jeans. Clearly jeans get started as a symbol of America. The hippies all of a sudden embraced them. It was a fashion statement in the 60s. We in Europe saw what it was, took its spirit, and then it was recreated back. I remember the French jeans store on East 60th Street had a couch where girls would have to lie on their backs to zip up the zippers because they were so tight. We're jean hunters. About a 1930s denim apron made it to $2,000 jeans. You know, denim is integrity. It's blue collar, it's working man. You know, that's what rock and roll always is. But the jeans we would wear so much that holes would start forming around our knees. And then everyone started wearing jeans with holes in them. Then we'll take starch, like flood it with starch and iron them to death. They could literally stand on their own. Are you still finding this stuff? Oh yeah. They want to follow you around for a little while. <laughs> it's like the first question women ask, do these jeans make me look fat? And how does my butt look? It initially mattered that Levi's were made in the U.S. That initial association, I think, mattered. But the iconography, the mythology, still trumps all of that stuff. Every pair tells a story.